Hello, I hope you're all well. So today I am back with a new video and I'm so excited because I haven't done one of these videos in such a long time. As you can see from the title, it is the NYT audition video. I haven't done an audition video in literally, I feel like years. Life update. This summer I took part in the 2020 National Youth Theatre intake summer course. Summer intake course? Summer intake course. And this year it was online, um, but I guess I will talk a little bit more about that later on or in like a different video. And I've got my friend Linda to film with me soon. So she did her summer intake course in 2019, so she actually was there in person. Mine was online, so I get to ask her some questions, uh, so make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to my channel, maybe hit that notification bell down below uh, if you want to see that video soon. So I have got my notebook and I am ready to go. So National Youth Theatre UK or of Great Britain is the longest uh, running national youth theatre there is in the entire world I think that's what they keep telling me so I'm gonna say it um, not my fault if I'm wrong I'm sorry uh, but it was the first one to ever be created and I guess the longest one that's been around so yeah I have always wanted to apply and my friends have always told me about it especially when I was like 15, 16, um, but I never actually auditioned until February this year, uh, before lockdown and Covid took a hold on us. So the main point about National Youth Theatre is that when you're between the ages of 14 and 25, that's when you can audition and take part in a summer intake course to then become a member. So what you have to do is audition for the intake courses, complete the intake courses and then you become a National Youth Theatre member and that is until you're 25 or up until your 26th birthday. That is when you can take advantage of what that membership includes. And so I'm going to talk about my audition. So what happens is you're told to learn a speech or monologue that is about two minutes long for your audition and its first half is a workshop audition and then you'll be doing your speech to one person and maybe a National Youth Theatre member slash ambassador I guess. What happened was in November, December time I was like you know what I'm ready I've got my speech down I'm practicing now uh, I'm going to book my audition date and I booked it for February so mid-February I was able to do it in person. I went online booked it on this day and paid for it. When I paid for it it was £46. I'm pretty sure if you book early enough like December time maybe, you could get it for maybe £35. I can't really remember but I think it's definitely a little bit cheaper if you audition... There's a plane, sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. But yeah, if you audition sooner and earlier, you might be able to save a little bit of your money. And one of the many things I love about the audition process is that you can pick wherever you want to audition at. Um, when it was in person. So people all around the country, in Northern Ireland, in, I don't know, up north or in London or down south, you can pick the nearest place to you and they'll come to you to audition you, which I think is such an amazing opportunity and they're basically saying, you know what, we'll come to you, you don't have to spend your money to travel like half the country to get to us. Uh, I think that kind of sums up how the National Theatre is. They're really inclusive and accessible to everyone, uh, which I really love. And if you have trouble with the audition money, then you can apply for a bursary. And even for the, if you get onto the intake course, you can apply for bursaries for the course as well. If you have trouble with getting the money that you need for it and stuff, because I know that it can be really expensive. On the day, you're told to basically pack a lunch and bring some water and some snacks, whatever you want, 
and so I did that I got dressed in comfy clothes which is a plus and comfy footwear especially got there on the day and just put a little name tag on and met everybody the thing is everyone in that age range will go to that audition depending on where you are you might get lots of younger people or maybe older people you never know it's just a massive group of everyone basically which is really really nice because then you get to meet so many people so when I auditioned I was 21 when I was at the audition there were people who were like 13 years old and there were also some people in their 20s but I was pretty much the oldest person there I think which isn't a bad thing it was lovely to work with a a range of people. What happened was we played a few games for the workshop. From what I can remember we got into a circle we like to get to know each other and get to know each other's names we passed a ball around so we threw it to someone across the circle and said your own name so I'd say Nicole and I throw it to someone else and they'd be like oh thank you and then throw it to someone else to like kind of get to know each other and then we kind of had to remember who we threw to and who threw to us and then we'd create this pattern basically and then we because it was so long ago I should probably have, should have filmed this like the day after but I couldn't remember and I didn't want to like uh, push my luck I guess I, that's the thing with these audition videos I don't like filming them straight after because you never know if you're gonna get it or not so I didn't that's a little bit on me I guess that's how I like to do things and we just did a few games like that and I remember very clearly we did grandma's footsteps so there would be the grandma at the front of the room turning away from us and then half the group would try and basically tap grandma on the shoulder without her turning around and seeing you move and catching you out basically and that was so much fun to do because you're trying to do many tactics trying to get there first but also not be caught and they would put us in different scenarios so they'd say oh you're doing like a circuit training so pretend you're doing circuit training but also trying to get to grandma uh, or you're in a relay race or you're in space they would put us in lots of different imaginary circumstances which was really fun and got us out of our heads and thinking too much it was really nice to just play and just be present I think and then what we did was we did a lot of mirroring so there's an exercise where you basically follow someone's hand so I guess if you were watching me and you were my partner uh, A, I guess me, would lead and then you'd have to like follow where my hand was going in any direction yeah that was really really fun and it made you focus on your partner and just go with whatever they gave you because they were the leader and then you'd swap around and then you would join other people's partners so there would be one leader and three four five people following this person it looked really really cool yeah i think with those exercises it just makes you get out of your head and just play and the more you throw yourself into it the more you get out of it and then we'd get into like other partners and we'd start doing this improv so we'd pick three lines each to say we'd create like a really quick dialogue but then we were given the task to remember that dialogue and say it in as many different ways as you could or different circumstances as you could and create so many different scenes within that one dialogue scene and that was really interesting because you could play so much with that it could be said different ways and it could be interpreted in lots of different ways that was really nice to be able to work and improv that with someone else and then the last thing that we did for the workshop was to devise so we got into four groups uh, they just picked out people and said you go into that corner you go into that corner and we had 20 to 30 minutes I'd say I can't really remember I'm sorry but we had a certain amount of time to devise something and we would come up with five different stills so we were given like five minutes to create five different stills and then we were told to join them all up and find a way to move from one still to the next and then we were told to 
include a certain list of things for our devised piece. We didn't have to choose everything from the list, but we needed at least three things on the list to include into this device piece. So all throughout this, we were led and really supported in our ideas and seen how we work as a group and how we communicated with each other and how imaginative we were, I guess. We were sent off to do that so we could like, I can't remember the whole list, but I think some of them were a moment of stillness, a moment of synchronicity, a moment of like solo you could add music add dance and think about your proxemic so where you're positioned in relation to everyone else in your group and it was really lovely to see everyone's devised piece because even though we were given the same instructions we were able to create different things from it and it was just how simple it was to devise and create and just play and have fun and do whatever came to our heads and see what worked and see what didn't and so yeah it was really really lovely to be able to have that audition space to create and play even though a lot of the time you don't think about playing when you're trying to audition for a place because you have that pressure of thinking oh no I really want to do well because this is an audition whereas when I was there, I don't think I really thought about it. I just wanted to do my best and just have fun. And a lot of people used to say to me, the first time you audition for NYT, you won't get in because there's thousands of people applying. And so don't lose hope if you don't actually get in the first time you audition. Luckily for me, I got in my first time auditioning, but I know if I did audition when I was younger I probably wouldn't have and that's just all part of the process because who you are and what they see in you and your life experience I guess. Um, I definitely wouldn't have been ready and I'm glad that I auditioned when I did and I was very lucky to get in when I auditioned so yeah. So all throughout that we did have breaks and things just to like refresh and grab a snack, grab water, go to the toilet. But then after devising, they basically sat us around in a circle and we were able to talk about how the morning was. And oh yeah, I didn't say this at the start, but the audition was at 10, I think. I think it was at 10 a.m. Maybe it was 9 a.m. I can't remember, but it was in the morning. So they say prepare to stay until like 5 p.m. normally because you have that morning to do the workshop. And then you have lunch for an hour and then you have your own individual audition slot so when i was when i did apply i said i wanted to go on this day and then in the email they gave me the time slot that i would be in which shows that the organization of national youth theater is actually really really good basically because there were two audition panelists i guess who were leading the workshop there were also two audition groups for the day because there was probably about I want to say 25 people in that audition room maybe even 30 so they basically said a long list of who was in their room and they like direct us to where that audition room was and then the other person would say oh I'm in this room and these are the people and your times and that was really nice of them to read it out and so we knew when we were and what time we should be back after lunch and how much time we had to like mentally and physically prepare. So the lunch happened between one and two, I think. And then my audition time slot was probably 3.30, 3.20 maybe. They do often run a little bit over just because you're given like 10 minutes and the transition between each person takes a little bit of time and also how they might want to workshop and direct you in that audition speech just really depends on the day so they were running a little bit late but I was lucky that I was one of the first to go through so there was probably like five people before me which was really nice um because then I wasn't first and I could like prepare myself so I went into the room and I had a little chat with her she basically asked me hi uh how did you think the day went what are you doing right now i said 
I'm studying acting and at the time I was doing a applied theatre module for my drama school for my degree and so I talked a little bit of that and how it was really interesting to cater your performance to children or sixth formers which was like a different process in which I'd never done before which was really fun and then she was like okay well let's see your monologue then. So I did a monologue from Rotterdam by John Britton and the character was Alice and I basically said that to her and then I did it and then she kind of reworked it with me and asked questions about my character and why I chose the piece. Then she was like okay can you do it to, I can't remember what his name was, to the National Youth Theatre Ambassador and I was like okay cool. So I kind of did it with him which was really really great because normally I'm really scared to do my monologue to the audition panel slash ambassadors. I don't know why but sometimes it, it just makes me a little bit uncomfortable or awkward but that time I was able to just talk to them and focus on them and really try and get I guess get what I want and speak to them which was really nice and I think it showed because because I got in and I really felt after I said that monologue that I was able to, that my character was able to say what I wanted but also get what I wanted from the other person. Uh, I was, yeah, really happy with how I auditioned and said my speech. The whole day was really, really lovely because the people are so warm and welcoming and the ambassadors were just so lovely to speak to and they're always there to help answer any questions especially since I didn't know much about the courses. I mean there's only so much you can read off of the website so it was really nice to just ask them questions and yeah that was how my audition went. Thank you guys for watching and listening and I really hope that this has been informative and that you've learned a little bit more about the audition process. Uh, if you want to see more videos from me then please subscribe down below and make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you found this really helpful. I will be doing a NYT intake course video soon so make sure you stay tuned for that. And yeah, I hope you guys have a really lovely day and good luck for any auditions that you're going up for. Thank you so much. Bye.